from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Tuesday, December the 10th, 2019. With just one day left for Israeli lawmakers to form a new government, a bill for the dissolution of the 22nd Knesset was submitted to Israel's parliament today, which also sets the third round of elections in a year if it comes to that. The bill must pass three readings in the Knesset by midnight Thursday. Israel's President Reuven Rivlin had given the Knesset the mandate to try and form a coalition and see if a minimum of 61 lawmakers could put their support behind a candidate, with a deadline of Wednesday, December the 11th, tomorrow. No progress has been reported as of yet on that front, nor from Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and Blue and White Party leader Benny Gantz in their efforts to form a unity government. And according to a new poll, the leaders are neck and neck from a voter's perspective. The Walla News site survey showed that slightly more Israelis, 38 percent, believe that Gantz is better suited to be prime minister, with 37 percent saying Netanyahu should continue to lead the country. 16 percent said neither of the two. 9 percent said they did not know. Netanyahu, meanwhile, agreed that if new elections are held, Likud primaries would be held as well. The primaries have been pushed by fellow Likud member Gidon Saar, who believes that he can unseat Netanyahu as the party leader. An Israeli intelligence company released images today of what it says is an Iranian tunnel being excavated along the border between Syria and Iraq. ImageSat International said the tunnel is likely being used to store Iranian missiles and to secretly move weapons to Iranian proxies in the region. The company has identified similar images in the past that have been targeted in airstrikes attributed to Israel. A Palestinian teenage girl was arrested after threatening Israeli security forces with a knife. The incident took place Sunday at a police checkpoint at the Tomb of the Patriarchs in Hebron, where the teen, while going through a routine security check, pulled out a knife and yelled at Israeli border police, You deserve to die. I came here to become a martyr. Officers pointed their firearms at her, and she dropped her weapon and was arrested. A 31-year-old Israeli student was brutally attacked on the metro in Paris this morning. The man identified as Yogev B was heard speaking with his father in Hebrew over the phone when two men who heard his conversation began yelling and cursing and threatening him and then hit him repeatedly, breaking his nose and causing him to faint. A French bystander called an ambulance and the attackers fled. Yogev was taken to the hospital where he required stitches to his face. Wynet cited the victim saying, it is clear that they attacked me only because they heard that I was Israeli. Member of the French National Assembly, Mayor Habib, wrote on Facebook that the attack was clearly motivated by the hate of Israel alone. Israel's foreign ministry added that the victim, after being released from the hospital, went straight to the police station to file a complaint. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan railed against Israel and the West yesterday in remarks he made to the Organization of Islamic Cooperation. The Jerusalem Post reported that the Turkish leader called for Islamic unity to confront the West and said that Israel doesn't recognize justice or humanity. The Times of Israel cited Erdogan accusing Israel of openly executing men, women and children in the street. Turkey, by the way, has warm ties with terror group Hamas and just welcomed several senior members of the terror group to the country. While the Genesis Prize Foundation announced their next recipient, former Soviet refusenik and former chair of the Jewish agency, Natan Sharansky. The foundation said today the award recognizes Sharansky's extraordinary lifelong struggle for human rights, political freedom, and his service to the Jewish people and the state of Israel. The $1 million prize, known as the Jewish Nobel, recognizes individuals who serve as an inspiration to the next generation of Jews through their outstanding professional achievement and commitment to Jewish values and the Jewish people. Sharansky will receive the award at a ceremony in Jerusalem on June the 18th 
of next year. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Tuesday, December the 10th. At 7 o'clock, Lieutenant Colonel Yoaz Handel of the Israeli Navy SEALs briefs future officers of the U.S. Army on the current warfare-based concerns facing the State of Israel on tonight's Israel briefing. At 7.30, Arab-Israeli singer-actress and activist Mira Awad talks about Muna, the drama series she created with Michelle Devon from the Other Israel Film Festival at the Marlene Meyerson JCC. At 8 o'clock, Yishai Fleischer shares the story of the Jewish community of Hebron. At 9, Mark Golub sits down with Yesha Council's Yigal Dilmoni on the Chaim. And at 10, a look at Jewish history in fiction. And coming up right after this newscast, it's ILTV's Election Arena. And that's the JBS News Update for Tuesday, December the 10th, 2019. I'm Tisha Bader.